Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly collective tarot reading session for you, Leo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good, Leo. This reading for today, it is for the Leo sign. Let us see what's happening towards you. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Leo sign, the Leo friends out there, okay? Before I start, guys, oops, there is a jumper. Um, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe, okay? This reading is for Leo. This is a weekly collective reading. Let us see what's coming towards you guys, okay? If you would like to further connect with me, Leo, I invite you to, you know, check out the description box below. Um, in there, you'll find the links. You're, you'll find, you know, the the website. And um, we do send out bonus reading. And the bonus reading, it is sent by email. So if you want to receive the notification, please be part of our mailing list, okay? So, okay, this is a weekly collective. We will pick up love and general situationship in here. Um, you've got the Empress card. You've got the Ten of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Pisces in here. Um, I feel like the recent energy, it's about... I think, you know, for some of you, Leo, you are... You're not... I don't know, there's a focus to take care of yourself or you probably, you know, you're probably, you know, um, you're probably looking after a lot of things and that you're forgetting to take care of your, or yourself, you know. If it's not that, the, if it's, the, the vibe is telling me like maybe it's a relationship focus, maybe it's a friendship, maybe it's family, maybe it's work, but you're kind of doing a lot of work or giving a lot of emotions and support and love to other people that you're forgetting to, you know, give back to yourself. You know, there is a Ten of Wands, Four of Swords, Death card. So you are, you're kind of stuck in a feeling that you need to serve, you need to make them happy, you need to do this on, you know, but you are forgetting yourself in here, the Empress card. I, for some of you, you don't have time to kind of spend, like there's no time left for you here because you're, your, it's more of your energy is all about outward, outward. Yeah, four of wands, king of wands. You're possibly dealing with a lover or a male or a person who's very passionate and you're giving a lot of time towards them. Yeah, emperor card. Um, I feel like you're getting to a point, Leo, where your intuition is reminding you or there's a part of you that... Um, that little voice inside of you, Leo, who is kind of reminding you to, hey, you know, it's time for you to look after yourself. It's time for you to go inward. It's time for you to look deeply on the meaning of every help, call, or text, or the love that you give away. You know, does it return? If it doesn't, do you need to continue? Okay? Yeah, the world card. It's more of, if you want to feel love, I don't know, but I feel like there is a give and take energy it should give and take but you're kind of give give and then take give give and then take so there's a part of you who there's a part of you leo's really like is this you know is this fair enough yes yeah, seven of wands i feel like you will create boundaries you know i feel like you're getting to a point leo where you need to create boundaries um you need to create boundaries you need to kind of limit what you give and be sure that what you give is also going to be reciprocated. Whether this is love, money, career, finances. I think for you to not feel this way is to really focus on you first. Like, do you and the rest will follow, okay? So, let's pick up more intuitive message for you. What else is, what is it incoming energy for you in the next two weeks? You've got Page of Swords and Seven of Cups. You know, there's, there could be a communication coming in the next two weeks for you. And you've got this hunch, Leo, that, um, ooh, um, like, page of sorry, seven, you've got this hunch that this person is kind of lying to you or it's not real, you know? Page of swords, yeah, temperance card, four of cups. 
there is a person, there's a situation who will return to you, um, who will connect to you, and they are explaining to you, Leo, that um, they're explaining to you something, but you don't want to believe them. Temperance card, Four of Cups. You're sure about, no, I don't believe you. But I don't think you're telling this person that I, you don't believe them. You know, temperance card. Um, okay. You've got the five of swords. Yeah. So there's a person, there's a situation that will connect to you in the next two weeks. And you're quite, um, you don't believe them. You don't trust them. There's a part of you that I don't trust you. I don't believe you. But you're not telling them, okay? I feel like you're more on observing. You know, I think someone, something, a message, communication, an email. You've dealt with this before. It will come to you and you're hesitant. I think it's better for you to observe before you make a conclusion. Because the person that is connecting to you or the situation that's connected to this energy is a page of cups. They're not very straightforward, but three of swords in reverse, they're not lying, you know. Yeah, five of cups. Whoever this is, I don't think they're lying. I don't think they have a bad intention. I don't think they... I don't think... Yeah, I, this is good. This is good vibe, Leo. Whoever this is, I think you have to give it a chance to give it a try before you judge. You know, the High Priestess, the Temperance card. You know, um, I really feel like it's good to try. It's good to go. It's good to kind of look into it and... Um, not experiment, but observe at least. Observe it. It's worth observing. It's worth trying. It's worth giving it a second look or a second chance. Yeah, because the high priestess, this is, high priestess is, is the highest wisdom. You know, like this is intuition, you know. So they, they do mean, they do mean, they, they, they have good stuff for you. And then the last reading is that you've got the Queen of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. You've got a very clingy person. You know, there's a there's a there's a person, there's a situation connecting to you, and this person is very clingy. It could be a lover, it could be a friend, but they're very clingy. They ask a lot of stuff with you. Can you join me this? Can you do this? Can you connect with this? You know, in the next two weeks. Something, someone will keep you busy. You know, and I feel like you're losing your patience to this person for a pentacles, but they're fun to be with nine of pentacles. So it could be a friend. It could be a lover. It could be a family member, but someone is connecting to you. They're very clingy and the wheel of fortune, the nine of pentacles, they're very clingy. They're very clingy, but they have lots of money. They're fun to be with. That's why the strength card I think this is a getting to know too. Yeah, this is a getting to know. It could be a friend who you lose contact. Sorry. Or it could be a lover that is now single. And you're kind of wondering what they want. Why they're so clingy, calling, texting, you know. Two of Wands, you, you have a... I would say this. You have Two of Wands. You have... an. In, this is an interesting story. And it, although they appear to be I think they miss you that's the point yeah <laughs> this person just miss you that's why they call the text or you or, although you find it weird that why do I have this attention with this person queen of wands yeah they're just all over you that you want to block or ignore them knight of pentacles and the queen of wands like how do I I wouldn't ignore you I don't know what you want but they just miss you um I feel like there is a two of wands they've got plans they've got plans for you more than just calling or texting they've got plans to see you they've got they have really plans to connect with you in a level of in a deep deep connection yeah two of wands yeah look at that king of cups yeah it could be a lover it could be a friend but this is someone you like you lost touch with them and you're kind of wondering how to start all over again it's a little bit awkward and the attention that this person is giving to you it's a lot it's a lot. It's really a lot. It's overwhelming, actually. It's kind of weird for your initial connection. You're like, you're, like you're connecting and it's it's kind of weird that 
they're acting this way. They miss you. Or you find it weird. They miss you. They would like to get to know you again. And it's all about love. It's just a little bit off. Like maybe the timing, maybe it's overwhelming, but they're coming from love. Yeah. So this is what I have for you. Thank you, Leo, for coming here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. This reading is for the Leo sign, Leo friends, and I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.